If you're involved in politics and campaigns long enough, you're going to have an election where every vote matters. It comes down to single digits, to low double digits, to a very, very small margin of victory or loss. And depending on what side of that equation you're on, it could make or break your entire cycle. For me, being involved in one of those very close elections as the very first one that I ever participated in as a volunteer, it hooked me on politics and reminded me of a feeling that I never wanted to have again. In 1998, Texas, we had gone from blue to red statewide. And my district, my county had gone red, but my state house district was still held by a Democrat. And a good friend of my parents named Becky Ferris, she'd run in the 1996 Republican primary for state house and lost. And the Republican that won lost in that general. And so Becky was came back, she ran and won in the primary, and now she's up against the Democrat incumbent in the general election. And when I found out that she was running again as a 12-year-old, I went to my parents and said, well, what can we do to help? And so they called Becky and Becky said, well, hey, you guys live in this little golf course community. Go around and knock on doors and we'll give you a list of who to talk to. Go talk to them, tell them about me and ask them to support me with their vote on election day. So I said, let's do it. I'm a 12 year old and it's hard to believe that I was a pretty cute 12 year old at the time. And so I would run around Prairie Wind and the little roads around that golf course, knocking on doors, asking them to vote for my friend Becky Farah for state house. And I loved it. It was a blast. I, I'm kind of a people person, even at that age. And I enjoyed talking about how much I love Becky and what I thought she'd do for us in Austin. So I, I was excited about it. And then I got to know how much losing hurts. On election night, we lost by 70 votes. And a couple days later on a recount, that margin shrunk to where it was 12 votes. I can't swear that I remember this. My dad promises that uh, it happened. The night we found out the recount results, he came in my room and little 12-year-old Raz was crying on, on his bed. He says, Raz, what's, what's wrong? I said, well, Dad, we lost. I, I wanted Becky to win, and it hurts that she didn't. And he, he gears up for a good fatherly pep talk and saying, hey, Raz, you're not going to win every fight you go out for. Elections are the same. It's not going to work out your way every single time. I was like, Dad, I know. But we didn't do everything we could. We knew 13 people who didn't vote for Becky. And at 12 years old, I knew that with 13 more votes, we were sent back to Austin. And it was very clear to me that if you'd have told me at 7 a.m. when the polls opened that 13 votes would send Becky there, I would have found them. But I left something in reserve that I shouldn't have. It should have all been left on the field. And so as you're looking at elections you're involved in, if you really believe they care, then act like it. You don't want to feel like I felt at 12 years old. And believe me, every election cycle since, and there's been a few, I work very hard to make sure that I never have a regret, win or lose, that there's this moment between the polls close and when early voting starts coming in. And my ritual is I go into the bathroom, I wash my face, hopefully I'm washing all the sunscreen and dust from being out of a polling location. I look myself in the eye, and that's my judgment day. Did I do everything I could? And if it's yes, then I'm comfortable with whatever the results are, I did what I could. There have been other times since that I haven't felt that way. And sometimes I've paid for it. But know that every vote matters. And I hope that you'll take that to heart so that you don't have to have a loss like I felt with 12 votes down.